quite a few of you ask how to customize your cursor when you're on Google Chrome. So this video is going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is just get on your Google search engine and you want to type in Chrome extensions. And if you have trouble spelling extensions, uh, it's really not an issue because it typically, as you saw, if you were looking underneath where I was typing, it will complete it for you. Click on enter and then you should see where it says Chrome Web Store. Okay. And then you could go ahead and you could click on that or you could look down and see where it says extensions. Click on that. And then it takes you basically to the extension store. Now you could spend all day here looking at all the different extensions that there are. And we will talk more about those in the future. But for today, where the search bar is right here, you want to type in cursor. Again, click on enter. And then here you can see there are all kinds of, well, maybe not all kinds, but there's three main ones you have to choose from here. I am going to click on, because I already have both of these, as you can see, they say added. So I'm going to click on this one. If it will let me, there we go. All right, so now this is where you go to add it, kind of like when you go to the Apple App Store or what have you. Uh, now I do try to look at the rating, you know, if it only has one or two stars or even three, I don't waste my time with it. I'll, you know, look elsewhere. But this one has four stars, so can't be that bad. Click on Add to Chrome. Then again, double check what you're clicking on. Make sure it is what you want to install. Because sometimes when you're on the internet, it does try to trick you and get you to install something you don't want to install. But it is the same thing that I went to. So I click on add extension. And if you look there, it was installing it. And it says, thanks for installing this extension. Okay. So now I want to go up to, and I could even close this if I want, get all that out of the way. And I want to go up where this little puzzle piece is right here and click on that puzzle piece. And this shows me all the extensions that I currently have right now. All right. And so the ones that I've turned the little thumbtack blue are the ones that you can see right up here. The ones that the thumbtack is empty are the ones that I'm basically hiding right now. I still have them, they're installed, but they're just not where you can see them on my toolbar. So I am going to click on this one to make it blue. I'm going to hide the other ones just so they're not in the way. I'm going to click on the X. And so now there's that cute little arrow with the smiley face. I can click on that. And then here you see are the cursors that they have. Now I like how this one has the little arrows on some of them. Some of them when they're pictures, it's hard to tell what is going to point. For example, with the scorpion, what's going to point? His hand, his, his face, his tail, you know. Um, if you're using a school Chromebook, you need to stick with things that are school appropriate. You know, I'm seeing some things on this one that raise a few red flags. Okay. And, um, I'm actually not too impressed with this one. I don't like how the colors are kind of faded and muted, but just for the sake of finishing this video, I'm going to click on the little rocket ship and you can see how it did that. And then I can just click off elsewhere and there you can see in some places I still have my little Harry Potter broom. And then in some places I now have the rocket. So I'm not sure why it does that sometimes. I don't have the answer to that right now. But I have changed my cursor. And in my opinion, it's a lot better than having just the plain white arrow, especially if you have a white screen quite a bit. So have fun with that. Let me know how it goes. And I'll try to get you the answer on why it goes back and forth. So have fun. See you soon.